Hey everyone, it is the end of December, which means it's time for monthly favorites. And don't worry, there will be a whole year in review, month, uh, not monthly favorites, but favorites of 2014. Some of these items will probably be included in there, but I didn't want to lump all of December into all of 2014. Because while some of these are favorites, while all of these are favorites, I don't know that all of them are all time favorites. So anyway, let's get started. Um, my first favorite of December was, of course, doing Vlogmas. It was, I will not lie, a lot more work than I expected and a lot more, I imposed a lot on my family's patience. But that being said, I think we all enjoyed it and it's really nice to have a record of our holidays together. So that was a lot of fun. If you missed Vlogmas, I will include the playlist of all 25 days in the description box. Please don't forget to check the description box, which is also known as About. It's just an old habit. We YouTubers refer to it as the old name, but it's the about tab below my head. So click on that and everything that I mentioned, everything that I'm wearing will be listed with links if possible. Okay, on to favorites. Let's talk about what's going on on my lips right now. This is a very new favorite. I went to the outlet malls recently and I picked up a few things. And two of the things that I picked up were um, this lip liner that I had had my eye on at Sephora and didn't get around to buying it. And now I got it at the outlet. It's the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner and I got it in the color Fair Nude Fair or Fair Nude? Which one is it? Nude Fair. So if you like a nude lip pencil, this comes in fair, medium, and I believe dark, depending on your skin tone. What's really neat is when you twist it, like right now, it's a little on the dull side. So I put it back in there and then I twist it according to the way that you the click, click, click. And then it comes out all pretty and sharp. So it's always sharp, which is lovely. What I especially like is I like that it's a nude pencil that matches my skin tone. And it's really, I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but it's very water resistant. It lasts a really long time. So I will probably be adding to my collection. But I really like is I've either been going for a very bold lip, which we'll talk about momentarily, or a very soft natural lip. And I think the perfect nude lip for my skin tone is what's going on right now. I don't think that it washes me out. And it's um, another one of my favorites, but just in another shade. This is the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. And I got it in the shade 06. And it's basically a, a it's exactly, it comes out the color of the tube, but just in a sheer form. It's very moisturizing. It tastes good. It lasts a really long time on your lips. I now have, I think almost, I think I have every color, except maybe one in, in this Clarins Lip Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector collection. It's a fabulous, fabulous product, and this will be in the all-time favorites. Since we're on the subject of lips, let's just keep going. We're gonna talk about lip balms. I've been wearing a lot of matte shades, a lot of long-wearing shades, so the lips are getting dry, especially with the cold weather, heat, so forth, in the house, all that. This is not an EOS lip balm. This is very specific. I have a very specific recommendation. This is the Walgreens brand lip balm. It says well at Walgreens right there. And then the other side has, it says Revo. I don't know if that's a brand or what, but I've only seen this at Walgreens. This particular flavor is bubble gum. They come in a, they had a holiday collection. So they all look like little ornaments. They're in metallics. They smell amazing. They taste amazing, but what I really like about these, twofold. One, they're easy to find in a purse because they're just wobbly and round and you can easily find it. Um, they moisturize so well. These are great. I have, I don't know, seven of these running around the house. My kids use them. I use them. I love them. So if you can get yourself to Walgreens or if you can find them online, if I can find them online, I'll put them in the description box below. Grab a gajillion of these. But what I keep in my bedside table when I'm at home I found, I found this due to a recommendation from two other YouTubers, Emily Eddington and Dominique Sax, Sax? I, th I can't remember her last name. She's the newscaster in Houston. I will link both their channels below. This is, this is funny. Um, it is Lanolin. Uh, it's specifically Lansino is this brand that I'm using. I got it in a travel pack, so I have four tubes of these. I got it at CVS. This is, um, it is Lanolin. It's pure Lanolin, and it's specifically to soothe and protect sore cracked nipples. So I had a little fun handing this to my teenage boys and telling them to use it on their lips and then read the packaging. They were horrified. But um, it's, it's great. It has no odor. It really moisturizes. It's a great overnight treatment for your lips. So 
If you don't need it for its uh, original purpose, it works fabulously for chapped lips. This one was a surprise favorite. This is MAC Ruby Woo. It's a very dry, very matte, very long wearing, beautiful red. And the reason that I love this, it's very powdery, so you have to go over and swatch it a few times to get that color you're looking for. The reason I love this is once you've applied it, preferably with a lip liner, I've been using MAC Beat, um, it doesn't budge. If you are going to be somewhere where you need your lips to look on point for hours at a time, through meals, through coffee, through talking, I ate two meals, had a cup of coffee, and it looked exactly the same as when I applied it first thing in the morning. This stuff is insane. I don't know if it is all of the matte formulas from MAC or just this particular shade. If you know, if you have any personal experience, please let me know. Next on my wish list is MAC Honey Lust, which is also matte, but a neutral shade, similar to what I have on right now. Just surely for longevity, this stuff is amazing. Also, the color is particularly flattering, I think, for everyone. So while it's a crazy bright red, I highly recommend going out of your comfort zone, giving this a try. This would be great for New Year's Eve. Another MAC favorite um, that I bought because you recommended it to me is MAC Plumful, which has been my go-to shade whenever. It's always in my purse, and it looks like this. Come here. There we go. It's part of the lust, I believe it's a luster, yes. It's a luster formula, so it has almost like that built-in gloss to it, but it's not sheer, it's definitely opaque. It's just such a warm, flattering color. I would wear this year round. I don't think this is specifically a fall winter shade, but I love it, absolutely adore it. And um, thank you for the recommendations, everyone who told me to pick it up, you were not wrong. A um, Couple more lip products. If you're gonna wear something like MAC Ruby Woo or any bright color like I've been wearing, I'm not the best at coloring in the lines. A lip liner helps, but sometimes you smudge a little. And what has been invaluable to me to clean up the mistakes I've been making is the MAC Chromographic Pencil. I have it in NC15 and W20. It's just a nude, basically a concealer crayon. And what I'll do is just draw around the edge of my lips. You can see I did it right there. And it just cleans it up, gives it a nice clean line, and you can you know, blend it in a little bit, but it matches my skin tone really well, so I really don't need to blend it. And it just cleans everything up and makes everything look exactly the way it should. Last lip product, I got a lot of questions and a lot of compliments on this lip color. A couple of you didn't care for it, that's okay. Um, what matters is that I really liked wearing it. Um, this was sent to me by Simone. I will link her channel. She is a blogger. Simone Scribes is her blog channel, but she also is a YouTuber. She's from Ireland, but she lives in Dubai. I've mentioned her several times on this channel. If you missed it, um, I will again link all of her information below. But we did a little swap, and her package got here in two days. My package was mailed the day after she mailed mine and is still en route. Maybe she'll get it by Valentine's Day. This lip, it's a lip extreme wear lip lacquer. It's called Lip Stuck. And it's by the company Wow by Wuju. I will put all that below. I realize that this is a company that is in the Middle East. Um, so it is not readily available to those of us that live anywhere else. But through the magic of internet, almost anything is possible. So even though I can't get it readily, I bet you could find it somewhere on Amazon or Google it. So I will list all the information I have. The particular shade I have is called Velvet Pink. And I will swatch it for you. I felt like this shade really brightened up my face, whitened up my teeth, made it look like I was almost tan. Um, unique to my collection, I have nothing like it. I can't even begin to suggest a dupe for it. But what was really great, because I, I brought this with when we went to Fort Worth, was that I didn't have to touch it up all day long. Another thing that Simone sent to me was the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum. I used to use this many, many years ago ran out of it and just never repurchased it because I guess I was on to the next thing. But you know what? Sometimes you don't need to go on to the next thing. I've only been using this, you know, a couple of weeks, but I have noticed a change in my skin already. It's much less dry. I'm still getting a little flakiness around the um, nose area and that's almost completely gone. I feel like my skin just looks um, fresher when I've been using this. I have been layering this over my usual Colleen Rothschild serums and um, it's great, and I like that even though it's boots, I can get it here in the U.S. at Target, so yay. And I think Walgreens also carries this line. And maybe even CVS. It's available in a lot of places now, so that's good news. A couple more things, like four. Uh, another thing I recently picked up is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. It is a pretty classic, iconic highlighter. I'm wearing it today. 
it is not my all-time favorite highlighter, but it's up there. And it's just, it doesn't really have glitter. It's a nice gleam. I think it's particularly nice for more mature skin. Um, I like that there's a lot of product in here. I think this makes a great lid color as well. It's very versatile. And the price point is much more forgiving than some of my other favorites, like the Kevin Aquan um, Celestial Powder. So if that's a little out of your budget, try the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle. It is very, very pretty. Since I mentioned eyes, I think it goes without saying, this will come as no surprise to you, that my all-time favorite of December 2014 is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, here it is again, in case you missed it. I, don't, I haven't done a specific review on this. There is a tutorial on the eye look I used, um, wearing did wearing this. It's gonna come up on Friday. Between this palette and the, whoop, and the original, I don't think you really even need any other eyeshadows. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop buying eyeshadows, but um, this is a very warm tone, very, not easy to hold, open upside down, very user-friendly, wonderful palette. Get it, just get it. There is fallout, so make sure you tap off your brush, but other than that, just get it. It's awesome. I love it, and I love smelling it. It's wonderful. I'm trying to cool down the hair a little bit, get out the brassiness, and I just started using this Paul Mitchell Blonde Platinum Blonde Shampoo. I picked this up at my grocery store, and I have noticed the last couple things I've done on camera, which you might not necessarily have seen yet, but stuff I'm working on um, in editing my hair is reflecting back much brighter. So. Um, with continued use, I'm excited to see how much blonder it gets, and if it turns a little purple, that's okay too. I think that could be fun. My Hanukkah present, and another huge favorite of mine, I've been waiting a long time to get this, was the Hermes, um, Hermesens perfume, specifically from the line um, Amber Nargile, and um, I will put that in the description box below because it is impossible to spell and pronounce. It smells like hot buttered rum. It's so good. And it's only available either in this in a specific Hermes store, like not Nordstrom, not Saks, not, it has to be the Hermes store or on the Hermes website. So I'll put a link to that in the description box. It's so good. I love it. It smells so good. I just, I could eat it. It smells so good. And the other last favorite is, I apologize. I should not be showing it on this finger. Hang on. Okay. It is this mason ring from Bobble Bar. I have been on a wait list for this sucker forever. It comes in gold and rose gold and hematite. I got it in the gold. Again, it's called the mason ring and it is only $28. And because I had bought so much stuff from Bobble Bar and had so many free points racked up, it didn't cost me anything. And I got this in a size seven is what's on my finger. And I have kind of fat fingers, so just to give you some reference. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. I read everyone. I answer every question that I get if I can. Um, I list everything in the description box, which is also known as the about tab. I need to refer to it as that. Hope you have a wonderful new year. Happy new year. And I will see you in 2015. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, I am really excited to do this video. If you haven't figured out by now from watching some of the stuff that I've done in vlogs, charity, volunteering, giving back to the community is a big part of my life.